guys, what's up? Welcome back to another Vlogmas day. And today is day three. Today I did not vlog. So I decided to just ramble about my fibroids. So I did a video a while back talking about me having fibroids. Um, I have had fibroids for a good amount of years now and um, they started to get worse like not fibroids but the pain of my fibroids started to get worse a year or so before I got pregnant so I went to the doctor to figure out why my cycles were so painful like it was bad guys I couldn't like it was really hard to function um, and the year I went to go see about it, the next month I found out that I was pregnant. Um, being pregnant with fibroids did make my pregnancy difficult uh, because it was very painful at times. I ended up in the hospital at times due to pain and uh, they believe it's one of the reasons why my little sunshine came early. Um, she came two months early. They told me that I need to get it out. Uh, like it's very important that I do. Um, just for a better life, you know? I would be not giving myself the, my best self, basically. Um, I believe that these fibroids are, one, holding on to like a lot of fat around my abdomen. Um, my stomach looks bigger because I have a huge one. I have a couple. I think last time I checked, there was like maybe five or six in there. And I had one that was really big and one, another one that wasn't like too far off. Um, I also think it's it does not help my hormones. Um, I also help. I don't think it helps my uh, like energy. I think that's why I'm always so tired. Even when I try to take and be consistent with vitamins, I feel like I'm still always tired. Like I just don't feel energized. Um, <laughs> if you hear Mark and Solo, they're upstairs. Uh, probably wrestling or whatever not wrestling but she's rolling and grabbing faces she's being so cute anyways yeah so I'm gonna be getting surgery is what I'm trying to get at I'm gonna be getting surgery um, in about two weeks and I'm super nervous I've never had surgery before or if I did not that I, I know I don't think I ever had surgery before even when I was a baby um, so I'm super nervous about going under um, Obviously, it's always scary. There's always risks, but I'm just praying everything goes smooth and that I come out better because of it. When everything goes well, um, the, the one thing that's a downside is that I might have to have C-sections if I decide to, sorry, I'm getting up. Um, if I decide to have more kids, I would have to have C-sections, possibly, depending on how much fibroids they had to take out and what it did to my uterus and all that stuff. So, <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Sully, Wally. So, yeah, that's the only bum part about possibly getting um, them taken out, but the brighter side is I won't have any pain. Guys, it's so much pain. And the thing is, it's it's like before I would only get pain um, during my cycle, but now it's just this last cycle that I had, I've been having pain every day. I've been having to take pain medicine every day and I hate taking pain medicine. I hate what it, I know it's not good for your body, but I, I can't function it. It hurts too much. I try to go as long as I can without taking it, but I, in the end, I have to take it. Basically, the surgery is a is kind of like a C-section. I'm trying to do some research now on it to figure out what I need for it, for like um, recovery and what I have to do. And a lot of the videos that I'm looking up are pretty positive, as in like nothing's gone wrong. Um, it's a very pretty like people do it more often now. It's a pretty routine procedure not routine but you know what I'm saying like it's it's not like a once in a blue moon procedure a lot of people get it nowadays um, but yeah so I think I'll, I will find out more at my pre-op which is next week I think it's an open myomectomy I think I'm saying it right where they cut me like you know I'm having a c-section and they go in there and they cut out what they need to take out 
<sighs> which is crazy. Yeah, your girl's nervous, but excited to not be in pain. But I'm also, I'm pretty sad because I won't be able to lift anything for at least maybe a week or two. And that makes me super sad because of my soli. And I think I'm gonna be away from her for a night, which I'm thinking about it makes me wanna cry. So you gotta do what you gotta do for your health. And um, I'll be better in the long run for soli. But that's about it. Just wanted to chit chat with you guys. Um, tomorrow there will be a vlog uh, because I am gonna go to work. Um, so you guys will see that and um, more to come. But I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave comments down below of what you would like to see this month or if you have any questions about my fibroid situation or my pregnancy. But um, yeah, let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Mwah. This is.